Hi everyone, this is Elise from Boss Up Mixed Media. How y'all doing? Today, we're going to do the last segment of Balloon Girl. Remember, this is how it all started. I did this one first and I said, you know what, I need to do something that we can do not too hard because the tur we have the turkey stitch here, we have all the stitches that we did with the running stitch, the satin stitch, the back stitch, okay? To have the embellishment with the, the um, metallic and everything. So I said, even when I did her layer tarts, or should I say stockings, or her leggings, either one you want to choose as a word, <laughs> I did it um, different parts of her with the um, different um, threads, which is the floss. And it came out nice. And I did the teddy bear with the turkey stitch. This is for all of y'all in advance know how to do the turkey stitch. And then I cut it down. And then I said, voila, that's it. But then I said, for, for the first segment of Boss Up Mixed Media, I said, let's do something that's not too detailed, but just enough for a beginner and advanced person if they want to see how to embellish a embroidery. I did bead work here. I did metallic. I did regular um, stitching, which is back stitch, satin stitch, and running stitch. And let's not forget the French knot. So with that said, we are going to do the last part of Balloon Girl. I'm even going to do watercolor her face, and we're going to do her hair, which is going to be the French knot. So let's do this. Here we go. Okay, we are at our last phase of the Balloon Girl, which is episode, or should I say step five, which is the face and her hair. Now what I did, okay, I started with the French knot. So I'm gonna take this out. Give me a second. <laughs> okay, so I started with the French knot. Okay, I had to explain something about the French knot. Or her hair texture. What I did, I placed it one strand of pearl, which is this one. Then I did six strands of this color, which is the brown, the dark brown, and I highlighted with like a golden brown. So, but both, so actually, this is like basically like 18 because the pearl stitch is like woven six strands. So it's like 18 all together. Cause I want her hair, the rest of her hair for the, um, to be loose. It was okay to be French knot tight on one side, but I think we're gonna go loose on the rest of her hair. So let's start that. Okay, here we go. And let's go over a little bit. Make sure that you can see everything perfect. And make sure I have room to move, maneuver my hands. Okay, here we go. So we go up. And since there's so many strands of thread, or should I say so many strands of floss, we're gonna do loosely one, two, three, or even four is good. And then go down. And see it's kind of tight so but that's okay because we're doing it with almost 18 strands and you know what you don't have to get them that close together but I'm gonna do one here because I see where the balloon is showing see how hard it is to come out but that's okay it's only fabric it's not gonna do nothing it's not going to ruin your masterpiece <laughs> or should I say mine <laughs> okay here we go Let's go and bring it in, bring it down. Voila, there we go. See how that, all of that, how it's so loosely woven her hair. So we're gonna do right here. I'm gonna try to hurry up and do this because we wanna do her face too because this is the last episode of the Balloon Girl. So one, two, three. And if you want, you can do four or five. It's up to you how big you want your French knot and see here we go again it's hard to come in but don't worry we can do it we can do it 
or should I say we or me <laughs> okay here we go now see that space there if you can see that I would like for that to not be shown so I'm gonna go here bring it up and if it's a little bit in her face it's fine because people do have hair in their face so one two three four and go in where you see an opening you know that's a French knot because you can move your needle go down a little hard again but that's okay we can do this people there we go and then bring it in slightly because we don't want them tight and see how that looks okay so I'm gonna try to do all the way to the end and I'll meet you at the end if you are doing this with me let's try to do this okay then one Okay, this is kind of the last strand. It's not too, so you take and just bring a needle down. And then I'm gonna redo the thread. One, two, three, four. Okay, we did make it four. So this is gonna be it of this one. Okay, and bring it down. If it's hard, that's okay. You know what you're doing, okay. Take the thread needle out. Here go the needle. Okay, I'm gonna thread this needle. I have a couple of standby needles just in case. All right. All right. I'm hoping I, you can see this because on my last video, it seemed like y'all wasn't getting how I was threading the needle if you just joining me. So we go in and there's a lot of th um, thread here, which I should say floss. And there we go. It's in. Take the rest. Go. There we go. Hold your floss like you're making a knot, a fist, I'm sorry. Then you go one, two, three, very loosely because there's a lot of thread here. Then go up because we're making a quilted knot. I like a quilted knot because it's guaranteed that it's going to be there. And guess what? Don't worry about the extra threads there. And if you feel as though it's not the way you want, come on. Just take your scissors. Sometimes this happens, but don't panic. Take your scissors, hold the threads. So this is good that this is all happening. <laughs> okay, hold it, bring it down, get your needle, grab your needle. Okay, go from underneath, pull your thread up. So now we're gonna do one more together and then I'll meet you at the end. So let's try this, pull it, perfect. You might get a loose thread here and there from the other um, items that you did, the other um, images that you did, but don't worry, it's only thread. Okay, here we go. Meet you at the end. Let's bring it down. Okay, let's do this. All right, there we go. There, bring it down. Whoa, this is really hard. There we go. Alrighty. I'm actually going to cut the other thread because it's confusing. There we go. Alright. And here we go, people. We want to get close to the black line so we can make sure they are hidden.
on now continue with the French knots loosely pull her hair so we're going down it's a little tight but that's okay because we bringing through basically almost 18 strands of thread because remember it's two with the six strands which is the medium the light dark and then we have one strand of pearl which a pearl is is like having six strands okay so there we go we'll do another one and then you'll meet me at the end let's try two more and then I'll see you help okay so see how loosely the French knots are. Let's do two more and then I'll meet you at the end. Okay, here we go. Then we go one, two, <laughs> three, four. Let's try five this time. Because we want them really big and loose. Pull it through the thread. Oops. Okay, there we go. And be careful you don't get everything caught up. See that knot? There you go. So let's try one more to let you know you're not making a mistake. <laughs> Here we go. One up, completely up. See how hard it, you have to force your way up and then you go, let's do it one more time after I've stopped moving my project. One, two, three, four, Five, and then you try to make them loose on your thread um, needle. I'm sorry, and then you go down. Make sure it's a space there, and then you hold it. You have your needle. You can move it so that it's going to definitely be a knot. Bring it down. Force it down much as you can because remember you have almost six, 18. I'm sorry, 18 strands of thread, and there you go. So with that said, I'll meet you at the end. Okay, we are now approaching the end of her hair, which is the French knots, and we're going to all do it together. Okay. Here we go, we go up. Remember, we have almost like almost 18 strands here. So we're going to go one, two, three, very loosely, four. Then we go back down, but not closest to the spot we can. Come down. I know it's like a force, but it works. And then let's try one more. We might can do two more, but let's see. Go up right here. Bring it up. And one, two, three, four. Do four this time. Go down loosely. It is a French knot because you can still move that needle. Pull it down forcefully. There we go. Come on, we can do one more. Let's try it. Right at the end because I still... reason why I say we can do one more because I still see the green of the balloon. And I have only this much left, so let's go for it. One, two, three, and four. We do it loosely. Go down. Hold your thread. I hope everybody's getting this. <laughs> okay, go down. Here we go. Pull forcefully. And voila, done. Let the thread hang there. You'll get that as, as you finish all your projects. You'll tie your knots, um, tie your um, threads together. So, but this is not going to be like um, embroidery wearing, so you don't have to worry about it coming loose. This is going to be like a wall hanging. So, basically, you just want to clean up a little bit. And some people, when they clean up, they put a, um, a padding or another fabric to cover all the threads. So, they permanently won't go anywhere. So, if through the years, if someone have this and it keeps going down your family line, you don't have to worry. But with that said, let's try to do the face now because time is winding up. Now, I'm thinking about doing the face with watercolor paint. 
but I see that the balloon girl hair have still have some um embellishments on it. has um different colors in her face so before we um highlight her face with watercolor because I was going to do the thread but I found a exact watercolor that could go perfect with her tone of the other thread that we did the neck the arms but I want to take my acrylic here we go acrylic paint pen and I'm gonna try to get rid of the red line there see the red line because it might show up when I do the paint of the beige now it can stay on the lips because we I will color the lips oops there we go I don't want to get on her hair and it did so but that's okay all right let's move the hair there we go now I'm going to move the hair which I should have did the first time <laughs> but don't worry I'll get it off it's only we can get that off I'm trying to let me see can I get this acrylic paint out even more there we go there we go got it now I might show up a little bit I'm hoping that I don't have to do another segment see it got on my hair but don't worry I'll call color that okay maybe I should have did a face before her hair <laughs> but I wanted everybody to know that the French knots is not but don't worry we can always fix where there's a will there's a way so while that is now drying a little bit I'm gonna go with my watercolor paint you notice I did the white and acrylic So, okay, here we go. We have the paint. Now, see, this paint is not that far off from her neck. So, that's why I thought that was perfect. And see how we doing it? It's coming in good. And don't worry. The white spots will be done over again. So, don't worry about that. So we take the paint around her hair. Don't matter if you touch the hair, it's only brown paint. And I don't want to demolish, or should I say remove her eyelashes and stuff, which I didn't do yet. We're gonna do that as well. Okay, and then we're going to, I don't want her eyelashes and her, her eye um, brow to disappear. So just go around it. You might have to go over your watercolor paint at least three times but I'm just doing this for you can see and you know what I'm gonna go over her eyelashes because I'm gonna do that in thread so don't worry about that as long as I have that line there to reference the eye and we can do it a little bit right there and remember that white was there, so I'm gonna let it. I'm letting that dry. So I'm hoping that this is not shaking because it seemed like it was shaking a little bit. So there. Okay, we can get all that, and then we can do touch-ups after we put the thread of her eyebrows too as well. What do y'all think? Should we have another segment to? that I can show you how to clean it up <laughs> or should we just move on to our next project because by now see that right there where it was white don't worry I just color it there we go there we go okay let me clean my brush buy some water out of it and then we go again now see, I'm going to go on top of that white again until I get the exact tone. Because you know, we have shadows in our skin where we, if it's facing, one, the sun is facing that way, you still have one side dark. So if you notice the white is on this side, so this is perfect. Okay, this is where we're talking about tones. Okay, so 
Don't panic if one side of your face is darker than the other because guess what, people? It's a shadow, okay? We're going to act like it's a shadow. Plus, you the artist. You do what you want. Don't, no one can tell you what to do. You know what you want. <laughs> okay, and it's coming out really nice. And the thing about it, I put a little paint on the her um thread um which is her neck but I want the shadow only be on one side so I'm gonna make sure that this the other side which was the dark side make sure it has a lot of paint right here because I want that to be covered and there we go this side if it's a little light is fine okay because What a color paint. Oh, I love this um, tone. This tone came right on time, and then we do it again. Okay. And then we do it up here. All right, that's our shadow side. Now, if you want, you can color her arms, but I think her arms is fine. I think her eyes. It's fine. So now we're going to do we're going to do her eyebrows and her and her lashes. And we're going to do that and we're going to do, do three strands. Let's try three. And we're going to do it in the dark brown. I'm going to try to find the darkest brown I can find and I have it right here which is um this is DMC and if you want to know the color of this dark brown is 1053 okay so this is 1053 if you want to know the color and then I'm going to cut this okay we're going to Tap the top to separate the threads. Okay, there we go. We separate them. And I'm going to try to do three strands. There we go. And I'm going to try to do this while shaking my project here. <laughs> okay, here we go. And voila, we got it. Okay, we're going to go with a smaller needle head. I'm not going to quote a number on this needle because guess what people I'm going to say it's going to be a 22 but I'm not sure and all of y'all embroidery people out there police people you hear me I said I'm not going to quote so I'm not going to I'm not going to quote the size of the needle now we're going to try to thread it into the needle you hold it hold it tight as you can move the needle and voila it should we go through yep it did okay then we're going to do a, a, a fist hold the other thread then go one two three take that down this is the quilting knot this is the oldest knot you can ever do and it didn't go all the way down but i'm gonna snip it because i don't want all that loose thread on the bottom of my thing so i'm going to snip it so we're going to cut it to the knot there we go Hope everybody saw that because the last episode some of the stuff I was doing some people didn't see so I'm trying to make sure we do things right okay we're dealing with wet paint but it's okay because we go up I'm only going to show you one side to let you know that this is not hard and we can go we're going to do the running stitch. I should have did four because we could have. Um, I should have. I should have did four because guess what, people? We can split the stitch, but I'm gonna still do it. I'm gonna split it. Only thing when I split it, it's gonna be two and one, <laughs> but it's all all good. 
because it's still going to look okay. Don't panic. And then we go here. Or should I say back stitch? Because I went back stitch on this. Okay. And here we go. Hopefully everybody can see this now. My thread trying to get caught up and everything. There we go. Don't forget. Pull it down. Try not to get caught up but like I just did. Okay. There we go. And we can do her eyelashes. I don't want to do too far down because you do too far, it don't look real. So here we go. Number one. And just go down into her, her eyelid. And that's, you know what? That's another thing. It will secure that. And be careful of your bead work because it will get caught if you don't be careful. There we go. One eyelid. Yay! Let's do, let's try to do at least four eyelids. Eyelashes, I'm sorry. <laughs> go up. That's telling you people I'm human. <laughs> Common state. Okay, here we go. Bring it down. The paint is drying, so that's good. That's good. Make sure there's no beads or anything else in the way. Take your time so you don't get tangled. Go for it and go for it. Okay, if it get a little tangled, just take your hand, move it, and go down. There we go. Two eyelashes. Let's go. One more. Two more, rather. Okay, we got to make her look good. Now, this one got to be shorter because if you think about it, one eyelash is shorter, long, short, long. Because <laughs> if, if I was drawing her, one of her eyelashes would have been long, one would have been short. So, let's do, let's try to maintain it with the thread too as well. Okay, then go back to her eyelid. Take it slow, take it slow, take it slow. There we go. Okay, now this one should be longer. Isn't this fun, people? I think it is because guess what? <laughs> it's relaxing, and not only that, you record you creating something. That you can go down to your family generations to come and say, Oh, I remember when my grandmother or my mother, which I am a grandmother, so they might say, My grandmother. <laughs> okay, here we go. Would y'all believe I have 15 grandkids? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now we go down. And they will, you know what? They appreciate when I make them things. That's the good thing about grandkids. They appreciate more things than you, your kids <laughs> when they was growing up. The grandkids say, whoa, grandma, thanks. This is awesome. Okay. And here we go. We're going to go up. And go. Actually, I'm going to go to the other part of her eyebrows. And I'm going to show y'all something. Instead of us going dun, 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 dun. There we go. We're going to couch this eyebrow. We'll go all the way down. And then I'm going to go right in the middle of her eyebrow, right here. Bring it. Bring it up. So we're always there. And then we're going to bring it that We're going to shape her eyebrows, okay? Then we're going to bring it back down. Make sure everything is situated. Yep, -er. And then we go right there. Starting to look good, right? Now I'm going to come back. We're going to do, I'm going to highlight her. Um, what y'all think about the eyebrows first? Is it good? Yeah, it's good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do her nose real quick. Because I doubt if we're going to. Let's do her nose. I have it right here. Because we got to show her nose. 
got to show some kind of emphasis on those. Then we go right here. Okay. Then we go right here where we started from the other one. Perfect. Okay, one more side, one here, well correction, two more, right here, a nose, don't make a nose too big though, not too many people have big nose, so good, so there, go down, and we do the one, the other part, right here, Right there, that's her nose. Cause I'm gonna make sure her nose is done. Okay, we got her nose done. What y'all think? I think it's okay. Okay, now I started the lips, so I'm going to finish it up by the threads first. And this is just two strands of thread. And I'm going to Put it right there now for the lips you can use paint to finish it up or you can color finish it up with the um, thread so I'm thinking let me try it I'm gonna just go ahead and finish her lips with thread and see what happens okay so what which is the strands which is the floss I'm seeing it right here see how I, and just leave it open see how I just did it and then I'll do a I'll couch it in the center here let's see want to make sure it's in the center right here right there we go and then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna bring it up before she can have like a split in her lips and hopefully it'll do it. Let's try it and get this out the way. <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. What do you think, people? And her lips is just practically the same color. Now I'm going to cut it underneath just enough so I can tie it later on. There we go. Now we're going to go back to her other eyelids and I highlight the paint so what we're gonna do we're gonna go up completely up and we're gonna go across because I figure I'll couch the center make sure we don't get the hair all right bring it down make sure we don't get the beads <laughs> all right go all the way Perfect. I don't have to cross that, but I'm going to have to cross the eyebrows. So we go to the end of her eyebrow right here. Right. Okay. Bring it up. Go to the other end right here by her hair. Right there. Bring it down. And we're going to hold off or bring it completely down. Okay going to need to know where we're going to crouch it at so I will advise you to hold it right there then we come up see where the center of her eyebrow right there then we can bring it complete the eyebrows on from the thread bring it all the way this time you bring it all the way there we go and then we crouch it and then bring it down by her eyebrows and then we go we got it Okay, that's two parts we just did. Now, and all we have to do is the eye, eyelash. So I'm actually going to go in the center of her eyelid right here and start the eyelash. And bring it into her, the thread there. That give it a secure right there. Make sure don't get caught on your embellishments. Okay, there we go. Now the other two I will put, make sure they are long. Cause 
Nobody eyebrows is the same. I mean eyelashes, I'm sorry. Eyelashes are the same. And there we go. We can go actually go right into that thread if you want. It's up to you. Or you can go around it. I mean above it a little bit. And I'm going to go on the opposite side. Right. Let's go right. Right here. Okay, good. Right there. Okay, right there. Let's go another short one, then another long one. And then we are completed. Long girl. Cause that white with her lips is good because it's like you, like she has her mouth open and she's smiling while her eyes are closed. Okay. Let's do one more for the road. And that one's going to be a long one. And voila. We've done it. We've done it. Now, let's get this. Pull it slightly. There we go. Now, I'm now looking at a couple of spots where I do see the white. But I'm going to put this to create this now, I have my paint brush still here. And I'm gonna hit it with a little bit darker color. Just a tad bit darker and go around her mouth right there. And her eyebrows right there, right here. You can touch where the hair didn't go. We can actually do this too, put a little paint there because we did. Remember, we hit the um, acrylic white, acrylic. So if you want to put that, you can do that there. Okay. And Right there. I want to put the darkness there for it blends in her face. Right there. So I'm above her nose. And she's done. So, people, this is the shadow side because you notice this is a little darker than her, the opposite side. See, so this is a little dark side. So we want to make sure. And let that stay light. And her foot right here, we're gonna put a little highlight of the darkness on her foot as well, because that's our shadow. Okay, here we go, just a little bit. And a little more water to get rid of the, the, that, right. There we go. That's a little bit. Because it's already has red thread. There we go. Okay, we are now completed Balloon Girl. She's done. Remove this. Everybody see her? Her hair is done with French knot. She has her eyelashes done, the lipstick. I highlighted the more on her neck and this side. Her foot definitely, because the shadows on this side is darker. The lightness is on one side, the darkness on this side. Because I didn't want none of the fabric, um, fabric, extra fabric, you know, like the blocks, the, the rectangles to show or anything. So I highlighted with the, I made sure I had the acrylic paint, which is awesome. The acrylic paint you can use because it's art. You're not going to wear this. This is perfect. So you can use that. And then to highlight the other, um, you know other dark spots on the fabric that you don't want to show through your art your um your watercolor paint and that's it so i hope i explained that okay for everyone <laughs> but with that said i'm glad you if you went through all the steps from one to five thank you like subscribe and comments i need comments because once you let me know what you like what you want to learn 
or more or let me know how this segment went. I would like to hear that as well. Even if it's something that I need to know, that's how I learn as well. Because I'm constantly, like I said, I'm constantly learning as well. So if you are a embroidery person out there or someone that do uh, all medias, which is uh, multitasking, painting, embroidery, and all the works, put it on there. I would love to see your comments. With that said, have a good one. Bye.